All right, guys, kind of a different video for me to make here. Just uh, I'm always thinking of different uh, video ideas and everything so I can keep my channel interesting. But uh, I thought I'd come out here and visit the cemetery where uh, most of my family is buried. And uh, we're actually here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, about 25, 30 minutes from where I live. We're at uh, Memorial uh, Gardens Funeral Home. And uh, like I said, this is where several of my family members are buried. I think there's about six or seven or eight or so but um i kind of wanted to show you different areas of the funeral home i know it's kind of definitely a different different video for me but there's uh, some really interesting things here i'd like to share with you but um the first thing i want to share with you this is actually my uh grandfather's grave and uh bear with the shadow i'm trying to do my best with the lighting but this is my dad's dad which is my grandfather uh y'all seen i just did a video recently on him i've done videos on him in the past uh, he was born July 8th, 1929, and he passed away November 25th of 1988. He was uh, 59 years old. He was a Marine for four years, uh, served in Korea. Um, he was in the several battles, including the Chosen Reservoir. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you. It's a real personal thing for me. And uh, I'll share another uh, grave of a family member or two of mine with you as well. But... Um, I haven't been out here in probably close to two years, but I like to come occasionally and pay my respect and everything, but um, I wish I could have known him. Like I've mentioned in videos, he passed away. Uh, I was about two and a half years old, so I only know him through pictures and family stories and everything else, but I would have loved to have had a relationship with him. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. His name was Bradley Robert Blanton Jr. That's my grandfather, my dad's dad. But anyways, I'm going to uh, kind of make my way around, and I'll show you some, uh, some other things, so stay tuned. All right, so this will be stop number two. And uh, here is uh, other, my great-grandparents. This would be, you know, I just showed you my grandfather's grave. This is his parents, so this would be my great-grandparents on my, my father's side. And uh, again, I'm going to do the best with the lighting. The sun's kind of behind me here. But our uh, family last name is obviously Blanton. Um, and you see, my grandfather, I just showed you his uh, grave marker, was Bradley Robert Jr. His dad, my great-grandfather, was Bradley Robert Sr. And you see, he was born uh, November 22nd, 1906. And he passed away June 8th, 1976. He was 69 years old when he passed away. And my great-grandmother, her name was Lady Emma. Her first name was Lady. Lady Emma. She was born July 19th, 1908. And uh, she passed away September 7th, 1965. Um, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the video before my grandfather, but um, it's really a sad way my great-grandmother passed away. Uh, I'll tell you real quick. Um, their family, they, they had a house that was kind of up on a hill. And the driveway was a hill, a slope. And she had her daily routine where she would park at the top and she would walk down the driveway to check the mail. Well, she did that one day on September 7th, 1965. And uh, somehow the car, the vehicle slipped out of gear. And as she was walking down the driveway, the car backed down over top of her and it actually ran over her and killed her. Unfortunately, it was a terrible way for her to pass away. It's very sad. But like I said, her car backed down the driveway and ran over her when she was walking down to check the mail. But it's just really, really sad that my great-grandmother passed away that way. But 57 years old, great-grandfather was 69, and then my grandfather was 59. So it's not, uh, those are some somewhat young ages to pass away, but I do have some longevity in my family. Several people are still living, and they're in their 80s. So, um, you know, you, just, you never know when it's your time. You definitely never know. But anyways, I'm gonna, uh, I got some more stops to show you, so y'all keep staying tuned. All right, guys, so as we were kind of walking through the, the cemetery, we uh, noticed, you know, a lot of veteran graves and different things. And, uh, you know, we're a, a huge patriotic family and everything. We're so thankful for all the sacrifice, the men and women. And, um, you know, we're just trying to do our part and what we're doing is we're actually cleaning off some of the headstones that have, you know, whether it's leaves or, or little tree limbs or debris or whatever. 
we're out here kind of cleaning them off and everything and not even just the veteran ones but any ones we see that are kind of covered up uh we're, we're doing our uh trying to do our best to kind of clean the tombstones i think it's very important to do this and everything and um you know just to honor and respect the memory of the people who passed on because one day you know we'll be there but i'm um, just so thankful for my children and their love of this country as well and uh we're gonna keep rolling so stay tuned all right guys so we were just up there on the hill this is an enormous cemetery it's really really big but it's beautiful but i wanted to show you something special it's also known for what's called the crystal grotto and what it is there was a man that spent almost his entire life carving everything out of out of the rock and everything and i'm going to show you different areas and everything up close but uh it's absolutely beautiful and amazing and um i don't know if you can tell but these bushes and everything they're they're actually not normally this grown up but like i said again this is just kind of a different video but just wanting to change things up but it's my wife and two of my kids dale and Kree. check this bridge out look at that this bridge was carved really really awesome walking across it now and that kind of pan you can see it just goes on for just acres hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of acres of graves and everything of the cemetery there's this really awesome water fountain here there's actually koi fish down in the the water there and uh honestly i'm 34 years old and i remember as a kid my dad bringing me out here I've been coming out here for probably, I don't know, 30 years or so, but it's just really, really awesome and beautiful. Like I said, I haven't been out here in probably close to two years, but this is actually where the man is buried that carved all this. Like I said, he spent, I don't know what it was, 40 or 50 years of his life, but he's actually inside of there. That's like his tomb, I guess is the right word, but see, all this was just carved. There's kind of like a little bench right there, and there's a path that you walk down through there. Water's kind of dirty right now, but normally you can see turtles and the fish up in there. Keep moving on. I've taken several pictures up there with my head kind of stuck through that. There's that bridge I just walked across. Got this petrified tree, I guess you would call it here. Uh, it's Jalen right there and uh, Kay Reese sitting in there with my wife. I remember getting in there as a little kid also, still there from all these years. Just amazing. Really, really amazing. People come here to take uh, wedding photos. People take all kind of engagement photos and family photos and even senior pictures and everything. Look how beautiful that is and amazing. Really, really cool. Look at this up here very very awesome very very cool and actually i just thought about this don't tell my wife but we actually had our engagement photos taken out here years uh back in 2008 september of 2008 we had our engagement photos taken out here i mean it's just absolutely beautiful and amazing there she is right there i hope she didn't hear what i just said but we're gonna go inside of here y'all stay with me this is called the Crystal Grotto. Those of you that have been watching me for a while know I'm very religious. I'm a Christian, love God and everything. But this is just amazing. This is actually carved into the rock. It's like the crystal type. And there's different scenes from the Bible that are carved into here. It's just absolutely amazing. Again, I know I've already said it, but I remember coming in here... 25 30 years ago probably 25 anyways as a little kid seven eight nine years old all this was carved and made like i said we're actually somewhat underground in like a cave type thing right now but all of these are different scenes from the bible and everything it's really really awesome really really cool just look at that Absolutely amazing. I love the different color lights they use and everything. It's just so, so awesome. Do you ever get a chance to come out here? Like I said, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Like I said, about 25 minutes from where I live in North Mississippi. Memorial Gardens. 
funeral or cemetery, I should say. I'm sorry, but anyways, I'm gonna keep moving on. All right, guys, so we just left the Crystal Grotto area, kind of just driving through the, the cemetery. A few other little things I wanted to show you. Check that out. We've taken plenty of family pictures and different things in there. Roll the window down. We actually uh, went ahead and got in the vehicle because it's pretty hot out here. We're sweating, sweating quite a bit, but it's a really, really beautiful, beautiful place. And I mean that in a respectful way, you know, but it's really, really awesome. I just appreciate all of you that are still with me watching this video. Like I said, this is just an enormous cemetery. One of the largest ones in, in Memphis. Memphis area. But. We're just kind of driving around a little bit. But there's another just a little bit I want to show you. So I'm going to get right back with you. Here's another area. Look at that water fountain. Waterfall right there. Got the different flags and stuff up. Just look at this. little pond area but I'm gonna stop right here and get out by myself because there's something I want to show you this will be our last stop go right up here Look at this. It says, In honor of our fallen heroes, those that have made the ultimate sacrifice. Now, what this is, is it's actually it says you got the policeman's prayer. You can see that. I see. See, so this would be for like law enforcement officers and everything. There's the prayer. It says, Lord, I ask for courage, courage to face and conquer my own fears courage to take me where others will not go i ask for strength strength of body to protect others strength of spirit to lead others i ask dedication dedication to my job to do it well dedication to my community to keep it safe give me lord concern for all those who trust me and compassion for those who need me and please lord through it all be at my side it's a beautiful prayer right there it's got names of uh, different uh, policemen and firemen uh, who've you know given their lives in the line of duty a lot of names on here a lot of sacrifice and this is the fireman section so you got fire truck you got the ambulance firefighter and this is the fireman's prayer it says when I am called to duty God wherever flames may rage give me the strength to save some life whatever be its age Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if, according to your will, I have to lose my life, please bless with your protecting hand my children and my wife. That's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very humbling to be out here. It really is. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I plan on doing more videos like this. Let me know what you think. God bless all of you and your families.